Okay, quick tank update. Uh, this is what it looks like today. Um, the seagrass growing in all right. Uh, I've added some kelp at the back there. Um, notoriously hard to keep, but I'll I'll see how I go. Water's still a bit cloudy, but the fish are settling in all right. Um, I got the two large mullet in this tank now. Large being a relative term. Um, I've got some the pink coralline algae. That's doing okay. The uh, brown algae at the back there, not so much okay, but uh, maybe it'll pick up. That's a new face in the tank, the urchin I've put in the back there. Um, hopefully he leaves most of my algae alone, the stuff I want to grow anyway. Um, and he sticks to the hair algae. Uh, still traces of cyano in the sand, um, but it has cleared up quite a bit. Um, getting some algae on the back wall there you can see but those are new snails I put in there, some trochus snails and not long after I shot this video it was actually completely clean, they did a really good job cleaning it up. Uh, just another look here at uh, a close up of some of the grass, some of the paddle grass, the new shoots I've had come through. All that dead stuff is uh, some bootstrap calerpa that didn't really take off and the red stuff at the back is the serrated algae, the red algae. doesn't like direct sunlight or direct um, direct light anyway from the, the Kessel, but uh, I do have some over on the dark side of the tank that is uh, doing pretty well, uh, so I think that might be the way forward in future, keeping it uh, a bit shaded. So in this clip you can see that uh, the urchins actually pulled the kelp over and has started devouring it, um, so I feel that kelp is a uh, not going to last too long, but as long as it stays focused on that, it means the other stuff's got a chance to grow. Um, you can see at the back there, there's actually a different species of urchin. I may have added too many. You don't want too many urchins in a macroalgae aquarium, but uh, yeah, I'll see how it goes as I go along. Um, there is a new anemone at the front, the brown guy. And there's a bit more of that uh, really nice red uh, algae I've got in the dark side now. Uh, this is a new guy as well, um, this fish I caught, I have no idea what it is. Uh, it's sort of hard to know how fish are going to do in a tank when there's pretty much no one else to ask because no one's ever kept them before, but it's kind of why I like keeping this tank the way I do. So, uh, new members of the tank, I have this guy, who I believe is uh, some sort of blenny. Um, I've got this guy, who's a hingeback shrimp. Very elusive. It's hard enough to get this uh, photo of him, but uh, when he comes out, he looks really cool. Uh, this is a shot of some red serrated algae that I added to the dark side of my aquarium. And just to show you the difference, this is what it looks like uh, under direct light. Um, so it is completely melted away, almost nothing. Um, this is just another shot of the the rock work I have at the back there with uh, the pink coralline algae and there's seems like a, a few other types of algae growing out of it. There's some red stuff in the right hand side. Um, I just thought that was a good shot. A lot of times uh, these shots come out better in photos than they do in video. Um, this is uh, my new anemone burying itself in the sand there at the front. So this is a shot of my urchins. You can see the red spiky urchin at the back. The uh, other urchin is buried deep within that ball of kelp making an absolute pig of himself. Uh, this is just a cool shot of uh, one of my hermit crabs getting cleaned by one of the snails. I love it when this happens and they just wear them around like little hats as they go across the tank. So um, yeah, that's everything up to date with the tank as it is at the moment. Um, if you'd like to see more, subscribe and uh, I'll be back uh, hopefully next week when everything is still alive.